Dear Prudence, I hope that this letter finds you well. It's late October, and things are so much different than they used to be. I long for the good old days. It has been almost two years since the No Tobacco Law. And as you've probably already heard, 10 months ago, the Biden pipe mandate took effect. I didn't think it would affect me. But in March, the Bidenites stormed my fox den and confiscated every pipe and every bit of tobacco that I owned. The pipe mandate makes it illegal for anyone to not only own tobacco, but also pipes. If I had only known they were coming, I could have hidden some. I remember the stories that you used to tell about the legend of the fur trapper. Who would visit pipe smokers with a gift of a pipe and their favorite tobacco? I often wonder if that legend is true. How I would love to be visited by this mysterious stranger and receive the gift of a pipe and tobacco. I know they're probably just stories, but they bring people a slight bit of hope. If only it was true. What I would give to have my Dr. Graybo Golden Duke pipe and some Sutliff Maple Street tobacco. I have even gone as far as trying to invoke the fur trapper, just like you told us in your stories. I've knocked on wood and repeated his name, but to no avail. Perhaps I'll give it one more try now. Fur Trapper. Fur Trapper. Fur Trapper. What? Is that you, Fur Trapper? Well, what brings you to this place? So the legend is true. Tell me, Fur Trapper, what gift have you for me? A Dr. Graybo, Golden Duke, and Sutliff Maple Street. It's exactly what I wish for. Oh, thank you, Fur Trapper. Please, allow me to make an offering. Where did he go? I can't believe it's true. Could it really be? Is this just a dream? Oh, the sweet smell of tobacco. How I miss it. I still don't believe it's real. Oh, the sweet scent. Maple Street. I must. I had forgotten. I know now, dear Prudence, that it is not a myth. The legend is true. The fur trapper exists. I will find my way to you, and you will see for yourself. Yours forever, Nervin. <laughs>